almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, Sullivan, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sun. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I had the wing of the girl, the 
Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? Way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, he laughed. My God. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. 
You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay, so I just... <coughs> excuse me. So I just backed up my save, and uh, there are two things in particular here that I mentioned previously. Well, one, one of the things I mentioned previously, you should probably back up your save because you can fail the lockpicking part that's going to come up relatively soon. And then also, there is a chance that the collectible, one of the collectibles might not even be there. So I'm not sure how to really uh, warn against that. It, well... According to the guide, it says that, that enter the shack and collect the bottle, bottle of alcohol and the note on the ground. The note might not appear based on how many skill points you have. If it doesn't appear, the only solution is to reload your backup save or restart the game. But again, it is not absolutely necessary to pick up this collectible. So you can, you can, you know, take that as you will. You know, you can just ignore the... Uh, uh, the note or keep restarting until you get the note. I'm going to keep restarting until I get the note, but I'm not going to, I'm going to edit it out here, but just thought of, you know, share with you guys.
shysters, you're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid. There. Somebody's stealing from the bootlegger's stock of liquor. Hello, old friend. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. this guy no idea you better keep it shut <laughs> what's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse I guess it's gonna be complicated no it's very simple in fact fuck off I don't give a damn about your racket I just want to get into this warehouse and we don't give a damn about you Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile of the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. 
What are you guarding? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. I bid you gentlemen farewell. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening? I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business? What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Look what I've got. You're a good guy, you. Follow me. <clears throat> It looks like there's a way in under this grate. vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This ratchet device seems to be usable. A handle. It must come from these old winches.
hey, just to uh, bring it up again, it says right here, now try to pass the strength test by interacting with the crank. The door should immediately open, but if you see your character struggling, immediately pause and reload your save to try again. Just thought I'd let you know that little warning. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> This is primitive. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Can't sleep. I know how that feels.
Petite Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? What happened here? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do.